G'day folks and welcome back to the channel for episode number 18 of our Beginner's Lightning Caster Paladin playthrough. Where in between episodes I went and did a little bit of farming, just for something different because I never do that. Um, and I killed Ulraprax a bunch of times and got a couple of new amulets. And I think I'm going to replace the purging of squalls with this preserving of squalls and, um, well... The other one's not so much. Um, I did keep this one because look at all those resistances. This one, um, yeah, this one is kind of a big deal. Uh, look at all those resistances. What's that, 100 and 158%, 157% resistances on this one item. That's kind of nuts, and that's only if you don't include the reduction to freeze duration on that. Um, so that is nuts. But I think this is the one I'm actually going to use, because it gives me... Basically, it's because of the updated Squalls proc. Um, however, that does mean I'm going to be losing a bunch of poison. It looks like it should be fine. Um, it will probably come down to what gear I have available at level 75, which is a little ways away. So I may end up using this one until then. But that's fine. The other thing is... Um, I was considering farming another one of these, but Impervious of Squalls is fine, and it's level 60, so getting a new one's probably not going to make a huge difference. Um, while I was farming my uh, amulets, I did get a level up, so two additional points. We are pumping Celestial Presence until it is maxed, so that's where those are going. And the attributes, I'm pretty sure I put in Physique, because 15 in Spirit, I'll probably put the rest in Physique. Okay. Let's summon our little glowy friends, and we'll go get started on... Actually, what about... what do our quests say? We might have some turn-ins to do. Yeah, we do have a couple of turn-ins to do. Um, and... Looks like Quaid. We need to go talk to him as well. Uh, so we'll do that. And I may as well get the extra free XP. Okay, honoured with the rovers, since we're here, let's go ahead and buy that straight away. And, uh, you know what, I'm not going to do that quest. <laughs> Keep that one. Uh, and we'll head back to Devil's Crossing as well, because we do have to talk to Mone. Um, he will have some XP for us also. Okay, and yep, we will speak to Barnabas, but actually... Actually, that was a lie. I'm not going to go speak to Barnabas, because he's just going to go and tell me to go to where I need to go, and I already know where I need to go, so let's just go do it. Alright, so, devotions are done. We're just looking for XP now, um, and also... I can kill this guy. Um, we're basically looking for gear, and we're looking for XP. XP. So, totems become a whole lot more attractive, which, you know, I see one there. I want to do it. Uh, the other thing I noticed as well is my Aether Resist is quite low. Um, it's being kept alive, or we are being kept alive, entirely by Steel Resolve here. So, that's something to keep an eye out for as well. Any easy source of Aether Resistance is probably something that I want to get. There's a couple not dead. It's unusual. There we go. Alright, last guy's down. We did get the Dawnbreaker's Sledge, which we're not going to use. Prismatic Diamond, however, that, that needs to go in the helmet. So this is one of my favorite components, and if you know anything about the game, you'll know why. Or if you've watched my channel, you'll know why, because I'll tell you every single time. Uh, the actual stats on this are not amazing. A little bit of health, some energy absorption, and some vitality resistance is... I mean, none of that is bad. It's all good stuff to have, but they're very minor. It's the Prismatic Rage skill that is the important part. So, total damage modified by 10%. This is attack speed, cast speed, move speed. Um, it's all good stuff. And then, um, total damage... Sorry, total 
total speed is all of those things. Total damage modified by 10 is 10% uh, more damage. And the 130 damage absorption is the really good part. So we are playing hardcore, and it's very hard to continue playing hardcore if you die. So we want to minimize the amount of dying. And uh, damage absorption like that is a very good way of doing it. It's also the reason why I've been saying that uh, Inquisitor's Seal is carrying a little bit. It's the reason why you don't see my health bar kind of vibrating very much. It is now, but uh, at least earlier it wasn't doing it quite so much. And that is because um, of the absorption from the seal. Uh, two more in Celestial Presence. Resummon these boys. Let's go ahead and grab this quest. And what do we got? Speak to Barnabas, don't care. Do that quest. Okay. And one point in Physique. Yeah. Alright, um, let's go get the little secret area. Why not? It's a little bit of extra loot. This is probably my favorite one, though. Um, just because of how far off the map it is. So we're all the way over here, and actually if you look down here, you'll see Minova, who is the ghost lady whose daughter was turned into a harpy. So we will be seeing her later for our two uh, devotion points, or uh, attribute points, sorry. And we get two because we'll also be going to get the elite one at the same time. Because of the 1.2 changes, when you skip Elite, you get all of the Elite quest rewards as you do those quests in Ultimate. I am going to do this, um, what is it called, this Devotion Shrine, because it is basically a totem. It's not, but it gives us a bunch of uh, hero monsters to kill, and it effectively spits out a bunch of loot, which I like. So we're going to do that, turn the loot off so I can see what's going on, and let's go ahead and give that priest his own little glowing circle to stand in. There we go, picked up a two-handed gun, no MIs, so this is basically just bits. Um, what are we using for gloves? I did swap those over, okay. It's the downside of playing two builds at the same time, I'm trying to remember. Which one of them has the uh, the runic braces, I think they're called, which one doesn't? Okay. Hellwraith here. We can go ahead and kill him. Again, anything with a star above its head is worth killing, and most of the other stuff is as well. Alright, so we're into the Arcovian Undercity. And this is ultimate, so we're going to be getting extra monsters. Uh, we are not anywhere close to Nemesis with, I don't think, anyone. I think Ethereals. Beasts are hated as well. And that's it. So we're actually nowhere near uh, Nemesis with anyone, which does kind of make sense. We skipped an entire difficulty worth of negative reputation. So it does make sense. Um, that's a lot of yellow skeletons, which I don't love. You can have your own little blue circle. And we will continue on. Um, so, no more Dread, I think, is on this floor. Uh, certainly one of them is. I think it's no more Dread, but I could be mixing their names up. Anyone who's been here for longer than 10 minutes knows I'm horrible with names, so I'm probably mixing their names up. Priest? Priest. Goodbye, priest. There we go. Alright, um, actually, I am looking for these ancient lecterns. I need three of those notes. So these ones here. That will give us a quest item to turn in as a quest reward, and uh, it's basically, it's made out of XP, so I like it. Okay, no more dread here. Is dead. There he goes. Um, frigid Grasp, not so much. A lot of the ghost stuff is kind of cold or vitality themed, so we're not going to be getting a huge amount of useful MIs out of this place. However, maybe? Probably not, but maybe. Yeah. And you can always get some nice blues as well. Also, we kind of have to come through here whether we want it or not. Okay, 
let's poke our heads outside. And we are now on the lower section that we looked at before. So we were up here. We're now down here, and we can talk to Minerva. And then we may as well go grab the rift gate and then head back down. You can just grab this and keep going, and then come back any time you find a rift gate. Um, I used to run across the uh, the broken is it broken hills? Yeah, I used to run all the way across the broken hills into the smugglers' pass and then go back from there. But it it doesn't actually save any time. You're just moving where you do things, so. I just finished this off now. There's no reason you can't do it either way. Right? Whichever you prefer literally doesn't make a difference. Alright, you can have a little blue circle. There we go. Um, treasure trove potentially here. It's not there at the moment, which is... I mean, I'm, I, I would say it's unfortunate, but I'm probably going to find the treasure trove anyway. It's most likely going to be down in front of the door to uh, Kilrian. This is another build where Kilrian's Shattered Soul is something that I may need for a relic, potentially, um, or some sort of crafting, but the, uh, the component itself is no good for us. Okay, down to level 2. So on level 2 we will have uh, Laudos Vagra and then Ravina Kerr. Ravina Kerr being the last stop on the way to Kilrian. Where is my totem? No totem for me today. Oh no, there it is. Forsaken. Um, am I still looking for... I am still looking for the... Uh... What are they called? The little notes that I've been picking up. Whatever those things are, I'm still looking for them. Okay. So that is Lados Vagra down. Um, is there any priests back here? I think I got most of the priests. Oh, there's a couple over here as well. Okay, I think at this point we can... Just kill off what's here and then we'll start stacking up runes around this. Alright, I think I'm going to stop at, at 4. We'll see how it goes. Um, actually, there's no reason not to put more down, is there? Yeah. There we go. Let's turn that off for a moment so I can see what's going on. Um, one last skeletal monstrosity. Down he goes. Alright, awesome. So, runic braces. I would really like a pair of these that were empowered. <laughs> if I could get that, that'd be great. Also, I'm going to be getting close to being full. Yeah, we got one more page. Okay, um, actually, let's go back to this page. Alright, nothing else major on the way now. Uh, because we've had our totem, the, uh, the next spot that it could have been, there's obviously not going to be one there. just across this bridge. This could be where it is as well, there could be a totem back here. Um, obviously, like I said, we've already had it, so it's not here, but it um, could have been there. And we can get this loot, why not? How's our bits going, actually? One million. That's probably fine. I am tempted to head into Forgotten Gods and uh, farm a few uh, Eldritch Essences. See if we can't get that fourth piece of the uh, Lucas set that we have at home. Okay, I see a priest there. I'm hoping he dies and 
doesn't heal. My good friend. God damn it. <laughs> Where is it? Where's the priest? I think it's here, isn't it? No, it's Flame Revenant. If I was a priest, where would I be hiding? Maybe I killed it when I wasn't looking. Alright, there we go. It's dead anyway. And uh, if I see the priest, I'm going to kill it. So continuing our theme of hidden doors. Uh, treasure trove? Not today. But we do get the um, the, the little hidden spoils chest. Uh, Grim Harvest, I think, is pet stuff. Yeah. Yeah, pet stuff's no good for us. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Alright, uh, this is a trap. This is always a trap. And my treasure trove's not here, so I did in fact miss it. So when I was saying earlier that I was going to find it anyway and it's not a big problem, well, turns out I was wrong. And I think the rest of that is pretty much going to blow itself up. Let's head down. Um, now, Kilrian is going to do a lot of vitality damage, um, a lot of fire damage, and I think he does some cold. The main threat, though, is the vitality damage, and uh, we've got, I mean, maximum all res. Maximum all res. <laughs> and uh, way more health than I would normally expect to have at this point, so I'm not terribly worried about him. Um, this build is very, very tanky at this point. So, I don't even know if he can hurt us. A lot of the, um, the goop that people put on the floor here, it's damage over time, it's damage over time, damage over time. And it's all just going to be completely annulled by the, uh, double rare, uh, by the, the Inquisitor's seal. Um, so we did, in fact, pick up Kilrian's Shattered Soul. So fire and vitality, bit of attack speed, some vitality resistance. Unfortunately, it does take up the chest slot. So unless you are doing a vitality or maybe a fire build, I pretty much never recommend using it. I think my uh, Blood Knight DK, I think, is the only character I have that's using it. Uh, actually, maybe the... Uh, Skater might be using it, the ATV. Skater, I think, may have one as well. Anywho, let's go continue on with the Broken Hills. Bunch of beasts to kill. Um, I'm thinking about the, the Hidden Path. I think I'll do that when I get to the Bismil section. And again, um, because I didn't do it I think I didn't do it in normal. I know I skipped it in Elite. Um, so because of those two things, I'm pretty sure I should be getting three skill points and three attribute points when I finish it in Ultimate. Which I'm actually looking forward to because that's a quite a big boost. It's basically a level and a half worth of skill points and three levels worth of attribute points. It's, uh, it's not nothing, that's for sure. What do you need? Don't have it. Never mind. Alright, and we made it back to the road. And for anyone who doesn't know, you can pretty much follow the road through the entire game. And, okay, this one heads to a, a dead end. But, you know, I've come from, I've come from over here. Where does the road go? Well, it's a dead end there, so I'll come around this way and just head back where it came from. This game is basically follow the road and head north, and uh, you'll get to where you need to go. Which I guess is good. So if we just follow this road, watch as this leads to another dead end. <laughs> no, actually, I know it doesn't. This road will head us, or will, uh, will take us to the mountain deeps. Or is it actually the mountain deeps? Deadman's Gulch, Smuggler's Pass, that's one, Smuggler's Pass. Definitely takes the, uh, the scenic route to get there, though. Ah. 
Okay, I have Kovac goes up. I have Kovac is uh, actually really good. It's one of those devotions. I I had it on a bunch of older characters that uh, that I made before I sort of understood a little more about the game, and I always just thought it was a bit of damage, um, but it's defensive and offensive ability shred, in addition to uh, I think it's a stun, but it might be a petrify, some sort of crowd control anyway. It's um, and it also does weapon damage, so you can leech from it too. It's a really, really good proc. Now you might be asking, why isn't he looking at any of this gear? And the answer is, pretty much already know I don't want it. Um, the only thing here, maybe, maybe we could get a good pair of shoulders. Like these ones are decent. Because they have the increased armor, they have more armor, and then they have three resists. Um, these are not bad, but... Okay, yeah, it would uncap my lightning res, which I don't love. Um, and how's Chaos looking? Yeah, Chaos would be fine. So yeah, I could use that. And it actually probably would be a decent idea. Um, I don't think there were any other shoulders. Turns out I'm completely wrong. Those are rubbish. Um, those are not great. They're not awful either. About these ones. Nope. I don't know why I bought that back. Generally speaking, when I'm playing, I uh, kind of look at things as I pick them up. So something like this, um, I know I'm not going to use this because it doesn't have plus one to skills. But yeah, I don't know why I'm looking at that. Am I going to swap these in? So on the on the existing shoulders, all that chaos and vitality damage that's that's useless. The seven percent physique is nice. We are. We do have a lot of physique, so percent increase on big number is big number. Um, quick maths for anyone. The issue with this is the lack of elemental resistance, and I do want to replace this rune stone, which also has elemental resistance. So I need to find a pair of shoulders that has elemental resistance. Um, that's everything, right? Or, or, I need to uh, hurry up and put this on which does have elemental resistances. Either one would be fine. Um, having said that, this is level, what, 75? Yeah, 8 levels away. So it's unlikely to happen soon. I'm also thinking I need a new weapon, maybe. Actually, let's take a second. Right, in the middle of the Smuggler's Pass, let's actually... Stop and have a look. Now, usually when I'm looking at what gear I need to upgrade, the first thing I do is I mouse over the armor rating, and I look for the lowest number. So, head. Now, this is on the other side of Homestead. So, if I go back to normal... Actually, let me, let me double check this before I say it, because the scaling, the level scaling in, uh, in normal has changed heaps now. Um, so, if I go to Fort Harren... Level limit in Fort Harren is, yeah, it's 60. So, this I think is the highest level I can get until I get there on ultimate. So that's out. So what's our next uh, lowest? That's arms. Really? Okay. Um, Gauntlet's Vignifar is quite good. What's Intensify? It's going to be an Inquisitor thing, isn't it? One of these? Yeah, there it is. So we're not using that. I don't care about the skill points. This is basically a pair of gloves with armor, chaos res, and casting speed on it. And realistically, we don't care about the casting speed. So this is armor, chaos resistance, and the proc, which is fire damage. So these should be pretty easy to replace if we find a pair of gloves with decent armor on it. Um, probably I will end up replacing it with something blue or purple. We will see. Um, after I check the armor ratings on my armor, and just kind of make sure that it's not something that I really need to keep, uh, the next thing I'll check is level requirements on items. So, things like rings won't show up if you're looking at... If you're looking at armor value, your rings don't show up. 
so maybe I look at this and I go, okay, it's a level 52 ring. It's got a bunch of resistances on it. It's probably fine. How about this one? Well, this one's level 40. So even though it's a very good ring, it has plus 3 to, to uh, Rune of Kalistor, it's got good resistances. Maybe if I go farm another one, um, get a higher level base, then I can get higher level Harmonious, number go up. I mean, it's, it's a good thing. Um, and the the one thing I'm kind of, well, there's a couple things I really want to replace at the moment, but uh, one of the things I want to get rid of or replace is this weapon. And I would like to get the empowered version of the same thing, because this pretty much ticks all the boxes. Uh, plus one to Inquisitor is really nice, and Stormbox is a skill that we're using, so upgrading that would be nice. However, at this point, um, anything that's kind of lightning focused and has plus one to Inquisitor is probably going to be fine. Most of our damage is not based on our weapon anyway. Okay, Voldrak the Destroyer. Basically, the gist with him, or the trick, I guess, for killing him, is to not stand in your uh, in your seal. The trick is to just run sideways, and that's it. Oops. And that's what happens when you don't run sideways, <laughs> or you get slowed by his shout, and then you can't get out of the way in time. All right, down he goes. Um, nothing there is any good. Let's continue onwards. So we're going to come out here and we'll run into Steven Seagal, or uh, Olgrim Seagal, I guess it'd be. Just around the corner. As long as I don't get netted here, I think I can just run past everything. I'm not terribly fussed about my level. I mean, I guess I am. I guess I am. More XP is never a bad thing. Well, Alright, so how can I help? I came upon these yep, I agree, and we will look for Dahlia as well. Okay, so Mountain Deeps, we've got a Totem, we've got a Devotion Shrine, and we have a Treasure Trove. We also have a whole bunch of vitality damage and poison and acid damage coming at us. Um, this could be good. Might end up putting that on. It's going to be a couple of levels though. So these trog blood mages, they're going to put the little circles on you. Well, if I didn't blow them up, they would put uh, basically sigil of consumption underneath us. Um, I don't know where it is that they're making me a liar. <laughs> there it is. Okay. There's a couple there. Good, good. I thought I was going crazy for a second. Well, I mean, crazy -er. Uh Treasure trove potentially here. It's not home today. Icrix can be here as well. So, this is the way I generally go through here. It hits all of the treasure trove locations, one of which is just here on this little edge. Um, and it also takes you past the um, Devotion Shrine, which you can see there. The other treasure trove location is here. There's only one place left where it could be, so I know where it is. Um, and let's go ahead and do this particular Devotion Shrine as well. It's basically a totem at this point. I don't need the devotion point, but I need the loot. So we'll go ahead and take it. Alright. Did get a level up as well. So while I'm looking at that, I've, I'm standing inside my shield. Or my uh, Inquisitor's seal. And we are maxing out the Celestial Presence. So that's done now. Um, I think the next step is to get a few more points in Rebuke. I may put some points in Ascension as well. This is another source of flat damage absorption. Uh, it will enable us to stand in things that we shouldn't, although 
to be fair, that's a good way to die when you uh, when you accidentally don't realize that your buff is gone. Okay, I am going to get the treasure trove on the way out, and the treasure trove is also going to be near. Um, well, I'm pretty sure it's going to be near Icrix. So hopefully I can get both of those birds with the one stone, as it were. Yep, there's Ikrix, and here's my treasure trove. So open the chest, and we'll take out Ikrix as well. And as far as attributes, we just keep putting it into physique. There's, there's no reason not to. More physique means heavier armor. Um, means more health, more defensive ability. Okay, and we did just get the um, the body of Dahlia, so we're done in here. You can go explore this area if you want, but uh, there's not much reason. It's just more monsters. If you head outside, there'll be even more of them, so... Let's just do that. Also, the further we get towards Homestead, the closer we are to the... Yeah. Um, Chthonic Plains, where we can farm a new shield. Which is another thing I'm looking forward to. This is the first shield that I found. And I've been wearing it the whole time. <laughs> so, I want to find a lightning focus one if I can. It's likely going to be a fire focus shield. So, finding a lightning mod on one may be an issue. We'll have to wait and see. I think we'll go do Pine Barrens, because XP. Uh, everyone loves XP, and also um, Black Legion reputation is something that I definitely want. So my Black Legion reputation is Honored, and I've got a decent way to go, but as soon as this hits Revered, um, any resistance problems I had just go away. So I'm going to kill Reeve here. I'll go blow that detonation site up. Um, actually, I'm not going to bother. I'll just drop a portal right here. Because every step further south I take is one that I have to retrace heading north. So I'll go get the homestead portal, and then we'll head down there and do the Pine Barrens. And then we'll come back for homestead. Just had a little kind of loading moment there for the game, which always makes me nervous because generally that means there's a nemesis loaded in. So I know we are not at that point in the game yet, but it still makes me nervous. Okay, Nazagrad's down, which means now we get Harith the Slaughterer Row. Can take care of him pretty easily, I think. And down he goes. Alright, awesome. Bone Shard, Lacerator, Flesh Warped Bulwark. None of this stuff's amazing, but it'll be fine. Okay. Let's head into Pine Barrens. How's our inventory looking? Pretty decent. Let's go ahead and eat these. And I will have to, unfortunately, go back. Did I blow that up by accident? I may have. I wasn't trying to. Yeah, I'll probably have to head back into the Arcovian Undercity at some point, just to finish that quest off, because having it sitting over here is going to drive me nuts. Speak to Barnabas, return to Olgrim. We can do that at the end of Pine Barrens. Alright, here we go. So this is our little quest hub. Um, I'm going to ignore them and just come back once I've done all the quests. Um, one of the great things about having played this so many times is that uh, I don't need the quest markers for most of it. Actually, it's been so long since I picked the quests up before I did them. I wonder if the, um, the cave that isn't marked on your map that you have to go into to kill um, the old was it Old Bloodbriar or Old Briarthorn? 
Um, I wonder if that is marked on your map, if you have the quest. Let's take these guys out. There's my Manticore Poison Gland, which is very nice. Go Merc Magara. And then we'll be on our way. So, uh, one thing I will say though is Magara is actually a little bit scary now. Uh, especially if you're not standing in your Inquisitor's seal. Because Magara does that. So, kind of watching for her tail. There it is. Alright, dodged it, and she's dead. It's, uh, it's a little scary when that happens. Uh, because we're in ultimate, she actually hits quite hard, and then you get sundered on top of it. Um, I mean, you saw, and if you didn't, go ahead and rewind, but uh, you saw how low the health bar was. I actually used a healing potion for the first time in like six or seven episodes, probably. Uh, right, so cave location number one is not it. Location number two is not it. Take care of Torgru the Flame Touched. Pick up the Sir Code of Mogdrogon, which we're almost certainly going to just sell. Um, location number three ain't it either. And after this point, I get a little bit fuzzy on where the next one is, because I almost never have to use it. Um, however, I do... Do need to find it. I think it's going to be on this one. Nope. This is the one that's marked on the map, so I don't want that one. That's going to take me to the wrong cave. We will get there eventually, but that's not the one I want for the moment. Here we go. If you uh, if you just back up a bit, you'll see that it wasn't actually marked on the map as a door. So that's the one you want. Right, so we can just kind of run through all this on the way to the end. And here's my good friend Old Bloodbriar. Should go down pretty quickly. There he goes. And we did get Blood Song, and the Empowered Tempest Sigil, and Empowered Oathbreaker, which I think is either a gun or a shield from memory. Yeah, it's a gun. That'd be really nice on a uh, different character I'm playing. Okay, um, Tempest Sigil is not bad. Um, however, we are using this one because we get an extra projectile and you know, conversion, so we can't use that. Um, Bloodsong, I'm going to probably either explode or sell. Most likely sell. Alright, we'll pick all this up, and this is the third entry into this Forgotten Depth. So you've got this one, which we could have walked in. You've got this one, which you actually can't go back up. Um, and it looks like the roof is quite high up, so how we didn't break our legs falling in here, I'm not sure. Uh, but actually over sort of over here-ish is another exit, which I'm not going to use. I used to use it, and I don't know why. But I always used to come through, and then I would use that exit to leave. And it would just take longer. So I'm not sure why I used to do it. Um, the, uh, the super unkillable regenerator mobs strike again. Alright, and let's go ahead and blow up Ungoliax here. Alright, another quest complete, and we did pick up the clairvoyant recipe there as well. Level 68 version, though. don't really care too much about it. Yep, we've got one of those. There's a double rare, which we're almost certainly going to sell without having looked at it. Um, how's my inventory going? Yeah, getting a little full. That's fine. Um, like I said, there's another exit over to the west here, and I'm just not going to go anywhere near it. There's no need to. 
takes you away from where you need to go, so we'll just use this one. This, I guess, is the downside of using the back door. There's uh, usually a bunch of stuff kind of camped outside of it. Okay, Anchorite Leg Guard is usually pretty good to wear. Um, I'm not going to wear it because the Rhymestone Leg Guards have 5% Fizz Res on them, in addition to Chance to Avoid Melee, um, and slightly more armor. So as much as 23% Elemental Resistance would be really nice, um, I'm not going to swap them in. Alright, that Devotion Shrine we don't need anymore, uh, although there is a Treasure Trove that can spawn in here as well. So we'll go check for that. Doesn't look like it's here. I'm pretty sure it's sort of right here, or at least in this little area. But it's not here today, so it's going to be probably up in this little area here. Which means I'm most likely not going to see it. So heading into Tyrant's Hold here, um, I am looking for the treasure trove, but I don't think it can spawn in this little section here. I think if you want it, you got to go upstairs, and uh, I don't think I want it badly enough to go that far out of my way to get it. It maybe can be in here as well, but don't quote me on this one. I'm not sure. It'll be alright. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go check other locations for it, I'm just going to head inside. So, in here, the things to be careful of is the... Uh, what are they even called? Are they Drangles? The big guys, these guys right here. Because they do very large physical damage hits. Um, so just be careful of them. If your armor is not up to snuff, they will let you know by, uh, by deleting your health bar. This is one of the, uh, the first areas in the game. I just collected that through a wall. Um, this is one of the first areas in the game where they really test your armor on normal difficulty. There's, there's other areas where you can take, you know, you could take some damage. Those stuns are getting a little out of control. What's my stun res? Zero percent, that might be why. But yeah, you can see they do a decent amount of damage and they stun, which is obnoxious. And they come in groups, you know, so... You can very quickly find yourself dead in here. Let's go grab this, why not? Maybe I'll get something good, doesn't look like it, but, you know. It's yeah. possible. There could have been something nice in there. I never would have known if I hadn't gone in there. Okay, it's boss time. So, uh, well, it's, uh, it's hidden chest time, but then it's going to be boss time. I did just pick up some boots. So these ones are not ones that I'm going to be wearing. Although they're not bad, but they're not horrible for survival. Alright, I need to make sure that I have killed all of the Witch Doctors in here before I engage the main guy. Looks like he's already mad. That's fine. I think I've got all of them. him. So Blood Feast Mark, not something we can use, although that did look like a lot of resistances. Um, a lot, a lot of resistances. 160... 170% good resistances. This would be incredibly hard to replace um, if I was going to put it on. Alright, so Exalted Stash. 
Um, there was a dynamite in here as well. Hellforged leg plates could be good. Uh, they do have more physical resistance, slightly more armor, a fire damage proc instead of a cold one. Um, better resistances, maybe? Let's see here. First thing to check, um, cold versus fire, it's pretty much the same, same. The cold's actually got a higher percentage. And then lightning is more again, which you would expect. What's our run speed? Uh, da -da. 132, so we're not even capped, so yeah, I'm gonna keep the current legs. My inventory is not full, you tell lies. There you go. Now it fits. Alright, uh, we're actually done here, so let's head back to the Prospector's Trail Rift. Um, this particular area is not where I wanted to go, I want the Pine Barrens Rift. And this area, unless you've dragged monsters with you, is perfectly fine to swap your gear in and out. Let's just throw that on the ground for a second. Okay. Um, what do you need? And then we spam click. I can't carry and then we talk to this guy. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, and there we go. Boom. Put these back on. Pick up our loot. Now we did just hit the, the nicest level. Uh, level 69. So, let me double check where we're supposed to go. I think, I'm what I'm thinking is Ascension. Um, I'm going to check the, the guide from Crab Turtle and just see what he's done. So, in Inquisitor... Yeah, he hasn't picked anything new up. Yep, okay. So, we'll put a few points in Ascension. And chuck that on there. So... Uh, what Crab Turtle's done is he's put, he's maxed out Presence of Virtue, uh, I assume for the offensive ability, looking at the rest of it, none of that really looks amazing, um, and he's putting more points in uh, Haven for the health and the healing effect increase, and then I think he's just got the one in Ascension, yeah, and he's got plus two to Ascension from something on his gear, so that's fine. Uh, I'm probably going to max Ascension. I'm pretty sure Crab Turtle designed this for Softcore, but even if he didn't, I I like having the extra defenses, so I'm going to use it. All right, um, let's go ahead and throw that on the floor again, so as we can do all the talking parts. So this is my favorite merchant. And I think I'm just going to vendor all of these. I don't think I'm going to bother blowing any of this up. I'll just sell it. Bits, I think, will be more valuable in the uh, sort of short to medium term. Um, I should be checking for shoulders, shouldn't I? I probably sold the ones I was keeping before as well. Well, if I did, they're gone about this one. Elemental bleeding. Some decent damage. How about these ones? Um, these ones are probably okay. Not great, but they're alright. Um, which is not really a good argument for keeping it. Alright. Let's go talk to... Uh, no, we don't talk to people yet, do we? We need to go and get... It's Dead Man's Gulch, I think, to get Olgrim. And we'll talk to Colin as well. And yes, I am aware I'm still wearing the Explorer set. Um, it's 
definitely not something I should be wearing. I did see the monsters as I walked past, but it's probably fine. Probably. It's definitely not okay, but it's probably fine. You see anything you like? This might be, uh, well, this is a case of you should definitely do as I say and not as I do, though. That was definitely uh, silly. Okay. So we'll go speak to Captain Soma. Where do you need me? And we will agree to that. Alright. Barnabas doesn't have anything for us. He'll just tell us the next step. And... Oh, I didn't kill Lutra again. Okay. Um, let's go... Let's actually bank all this. Got something How are we doing for time? 50 minutes. I think we can, we can get a couple more things done. Alright. First things first. Broken Hills. We're heading back in to the um, the underground here. I'll be back for you. We're heading back in here. I need to find the... Was it the Annals of Arcovia? Which actually should be showing up on my map. And I don't remember seeing them. I'm not saying they didn't show up, I'm just saying I don't remember seeing them. Definitely have the quest. Yeah. I think there's normally one here as well. There's a couple locations where I would normally see them that I haven't seen them yet. There's this one here. And I don't even know if they spawn on the next floor. I've always had it done by now. Let's see if we can't head back this way. There we go, that's... That's our last one. Alright, so we're done for that. Let's head back to the Broken Hills. We'll go kill Lutra. Which unfortunately just means we're doing a little bit of a run. Uh, what is that? It's Ancient Spirit Totem. That could be fun. I think that's the one over near the Steps of Torment, though. So, fun, but also miles away. So this is where I'm heading. Just here. I'm gonna blow up Lutra. Maybe there'll be a totem near her. Um, there is one that spawns just south of uh, her little tower. It doesn't look like it's there, though. Alright. And now we pretty much just blow her up. And there she goes. Alright. So from here we can go get our two devotion, or sorry not devotion, two attribute points. From Minerva here. There we go, two attribute points, plus the two that I didn't spend from levels. All of it into physique, we're well ahead on levels, or on um, hit points. And now the question is, do I want to crit more, or do I want to get more damage absorption? Um, actually, I think I want one in clarity of purpose. So this gives us some stun re uh, duration reduction while we have this active, which is good, because, I mean, we've got piles of it. <laughs> um, so I want one point in there, and I think I'll just keep putting points in Ascension. Okay, um, that'll about do us for this episode, so thank you all very much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, and goodbye for now.